I hope your day is going great. It's about to get better because this episode of Sustainable States is all about nurturing the health and productivity of the soil in your garden. Don't let your eyes glaze over. Snap to it. This is going to change your garden. I'm Stacy Tates. For me, healthy food and sustainability are totally connected. You can grow it yourself. Nature is generous. What I love to point out over and over, I don't think I can get uh, tired of saying this, nor that it can be overemphasized, is that if we want to have healthy bodies, we need to eat healthy food. And to eat healthy food, we have to start with healthy soil. So household compost is in the wheelbarrow. It's got every type of scrap you can imagine that can come out of a kitchen for a big family. Um, it's got every type of veggie, baked good, coffee grounds, tea bags, shredded newspapers, but it's got meat scraps and bones, and all of it has been working together. There's a picture now you can see of our composter, just a simple black box, sitting on a two foot by two foot square piece of concrete, so that it's rat and rodent proof. All that basically gets started out in that black composter, but then I bring it here where the big guns play to really build soil. And so I have a video to show how to create an amazing compost, and that is kind of where this takes off. And I have another video called Putting Your Garden Beds to Sleep. And between those two, it kind of shows how you get to where I'm at now in the middle of summer and thinking about harvesting the plenty. All that's going on in the background is creating an amazing compost and putting your garden beds to sleep. Because if you get great, healthy, reinvigorated soil, you end up with a tomato harvest that looks like that and pole beans that are pumping it out and raspberries that are still pumping out and still have canes for the next year to come. It just keeps on growing and it's all predicated on good soil. I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do with the big pile here in the upper garden and how the kitchen compost waste is going to get mixed in with everything else on the property. Behind me I've got sunflowers that are 4 meters or 12 feet tall, snow peas, dry beans, fresh beans, tomatoes, chard. It's just chock full of life. And it's all because of one thing, healthy soil. You can't get great food if you first don't have great soil. And that's what this episode is about, not just some how-tos, but some fantastic resources that are gonna get the job done in your soil, just like I've been doing in mine, so that your garden is gonna rock it. Let's get into it. The big mothership compost pile here that I've got going on the property, I feel like every year the compost pile scales up a little bit bigger. I've got the wheelbarrow of household compost that's coming up from near the kitchen but this is a combination of everything you can imagine i've got chopped off pieces from flowers that have been pruned i've got weeds that have been pulled grass that's been mowed all the manure out of a chicken coop pretty much anything you can imagine when i cleaned the algae out of my swimming pond it all ended up in here as well so it's just a big mix of carbon and nitrogen together I'm gonna layer it, layer it, layer it, get it all heaped up, and then I've got a bucket here, and this is a big pail, 20 liters, five gallons, of EM, activated effective microorganisms. And with the activated EM poured onto this, all the fungi and the bacteria is gonna flourish, and then I'm gonna pull a big plastic sheet over it, and then I'm gonna cover that with coffee sacks so it's weighted down and heats up really well, and we're just gonna wait. And in four weeks' time, this entire mess is going to be pure soil and all of it's going to go out on the garden beds and then you would take up exactly where I'd want you to with my video called putting your garden beds to sleep because all of this will go out on your garden bed and it's going to be perfectly ready for the spring to grow next season so let's just get into this I think I've three quarters built the compost pile now so it feels like it's got a good moisture level and it's building up nicely with good layers so now I'm going to throw on the effective microorganism mix and let that all seep in and I'll throw some more water on top of that too can't see them but we just put trillions of bacteria into the mix things are getting busy I totally know some of you are going to ask, why are you putting all these layers on? Oh, hi, Soda Pop. A compost is a living organism. It has to have a skin to protect it. So I'm putting on coffee sack, plastic sheet, coffee sack. 
a three-layered skin so that my living organism has protection, can hold its temperature, and truly be alive inside. That's the goal, that's why I'm doing it. Well, I think I'm permitted to say at this point, that's a wrap, because we got her all wrapped up. Oh, hi again, Soda Pop. So just remember those two resources that I told you about earlier, how to create an amazing compost and putting your garden beds to sleep. If you can tack onto both of those that are on my channel, the links are both right there now, you're gonna have amazing success because you've made your compost and then you know how to use it as well. How to create amazing compost, putting your garden beds to sleep, guys, Thanks a lot for watching. Hey guys, if you've been watching this on YouTube, thank you very much for your love. Why don't you click on the subscribe button, check that little bell for some notifications. I'll keep sending you resources that are hopeful, helpful, and healthy. Till next time.